Hello ladies and gentlemen, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to code factory pattern. The purpose of the factory pattern is we're going to create instances of classes in one place and let developer access it throughout the app. In this case, I'm going to create a phone factory. I have used it to create repository factory in the back end when I work in the industry. I don't want to teach you that one here because I have to teach database and everything. Instead of doing that, I'm going to show you how to code the phone factory. Here, I'm going to create a class class call phone but i'm gonna make it abstract here you can see every phone can send messages every phone can call some okay but different variation of phones have different variation of camera system for example compact phone have like one camera and the base one have like telephoto and normal camera then you have buy a expensive ultra phone it has a zoom camera therefore to implement those different functionalities we have added this function abstract function so if i inherit this to another class that class must implement this function now i'm going to add different variation of forms here now you can see i have created three forms one is compact base ultra and here you can see i have added function this take a picture function i have passed different parameters according to that parameters i logged what kind of image that we do okay here we create the factory now you can see in for the phone factory i have a static function called get instance and i pass the variation as is according to the variation we create this object okay we create an instance from the class and return so in this way in your app you won't see anything like this in other files you won't see that you only get objects from the function only okay that's why we use this pattern now when i access this in in our app you can see i have the factory phone factory and get instance and i have base so in the baseline i have passed base here also now i can get 50 megapixel photo i can type zoom here here i can get a zoom photo here i'm gonna type telephoto here you can see i don't have tele so i don't get it okay instead of using this i'm gonna use ultra phone now i get uh, here i can take a photo okay now according to what i pass here it creates the object and according to that object i call the function also i want to point out one thing you can see here i create this phone factory here i don't create laptop ultra version we create this factory to manage only one item that has separate variation okay so right now i have the item as the phone the variations are compact base and ultra if you want to do the same thing with same features but you want to create a laptop still you have to code these things in a different place instead of here also when you refactor things separate these classes into different files i just did it here to explain you and export these and then you can use it okay in the next video i will show you how to do the strategy pattern see you guys